If you look at how well Basel III would have predicted the banks that were going to collapse, it, it actually it did a pretty poor job. It's, it's one of the very interesting pieces of research first done at London Business School and since repeated elsewhere. So th there's clearly a flaw there with Basel III. Certainly it can't be used on its own and it needs even to be used with some caution when used with other measures. I personally think Basel III is a step in the right direction. Uh, others would disagree, um, but I think it leaves a lot of other areas to be looked at. Uh, and it does, it's not the solution. Basel III still has an approach of giving precise rules and ignoring the fact, well documented by now, both uh, theoretically and in fact, of what happened, that once you give a rule, people will devise ways to go around and actually that will create more problems and more distortions than before. Uh, one of the biggest issues that I think uh, Basel III hasn't currently addressed is derivative regulation. Derivative regulation is crucial because now we have increased the minimum bank capital requirements on, uh, for example, standard loans and also purchasing bonds and equity. But derivatives are still very unregulated. We have very little information what the positions uh, of the banks are in terms of uh, derivatives. Evaluating the risks related to, uh, to derivatives uh, requires very complicated value at risk models and a lot of information. And actually, given the high uh, the, given, given the high minimum bank capital requirements in the future, probably the potential crisis will come from the derivative side since they're still very unregulated. Basel III isn't ambitious enough. It was a remarkable achievement to do it in such a short space of time, but it isn't enough and doesn't have to be implemented yet. Will Basel I and Basel II have not worked well, and that may be an understatement. I think there's a lot of skepticism about Basel III, and that's why a lot of analysts, academics, and commentators have fallen back on simple leverage ratios. That is, let's use simple leverage ratios and let them be a lot higher than they've traditionally been. That's another way of saying we need more equity capital in banks. Having said that, uh, we may w also want risk-weighted capital requirements as well as simple leverage ratios.